Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. stop of the Louisville hot wing tour and I just picked up my food down on Broadway at 639 East Broadway at the Chicken King uh, a lot of people there's a debate on whether or not you know King, uh, Chicken King's better or Indies is better they're real similar pretty much identical menu uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the wings and also uh, we got some other stuff too but I'm gonna go ahead and give these wings a try. Real crunchy. <coughs> and that's <coughs> real spicy too. It went down my windpipe. <laughs> but anyway, it is similar to Indy's. And it's pretty good that they're this crunchy, especially when I took them to go. But all the heat is in the breading. Whereas like buffalo wings, it's in the sauce, they roll it around. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn the rest of this. Wow, I got some breading in my throat. I gotta recover. I'm gonna turn the rest of this review over to Brett until I can get my com composure. This is Brett Ralph, owner of Surface Noise right up the hill from Chicken King, up here at the corner of Baxter and Payne Street. So go ahead, Brett. All right. They were out of spicy keels, which is my usual jam, so we just got a regular keel here. So I don't know that I've had the regular keel from Chicken King. So we're gonna find out here what it's like. It's really good. I don't know, I like Indies and Chicken King are very similar. So I was telling Barry, I think, I mean, I'm a big lemonade fan and Indies has amazing pink lemonade. They definitely get the nod on lemonade. The spicy potato wedges are similar. Seems to me like Indies might be a little spicier, but as far as the chicken goes, I just find Chicken King a little more flavorful um, than Indies. Maybe a little, I don't know if it's juicier or not. It, it feels like it's not fried as hard maybe as Indies and maybe is a little less crunchy and a little more tender in the, in the, in the skin. And I don't know, they're both great, but I do love Chicken King chicken. How you doing? Look at that crunchy wedge. And there's my keels I'm gonna dig into in a minute. But being that it didn't have spicy, I'm gonna have to get some hot sauce on them. And before I forget, Brett and I are wearing each other's merch. I'm wearing his Service Noise merch. Brand new shirts. And you notice on the back, I think it might be like a semi-political statement. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Plus, mean it politically. Brett but. is is uh, got the Good Alls Country Kitchen gear. Both of our shirts are on <laughs> sale for twenty dollars. You can set up a pickup with me, or I mail. Uh, you can <laughs> mail for five dollars. Brett's got his shirts on sale for twenty. Also, is that correct? Same twenty five shipped. So same deal. All right. Now that I got my composure back, I just want to reiterate that the breading on those wings is crunchy and spicy. And these wedges, they're perfectly breaded and crunchy and spicy also. And I'm gonna wrap it up, but y'all don't know nothing about this chicken king. All right, <laughs> little, little bonus footage. I want y'all to see Goldie, and uh, I'm gonna mention that she took, took a poop <laughs> right on the steps of surface noise, totally disrespected Everyone's a establishment. Critic. But also I forgot to mention, we're headed into black owned restaurant week, the 502 black owned restaurants. Need to show our support for black restaurants and especially local restaurants like Chicken King. We gotta do our part, chip in, 
and support not only local, but especially black owned restaurants. So, y'all don't, don't know, know nothing, nothing about, about that chicken, chicken king. king. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country King.